We turn now to 2008 Olympic gold medalist Sean Johnson. The gymnast from Des Moines, Iowa has had quite the year. She's written a book, appeared on several TV programs, and danced her way to victory on ABC's hit show Dancing with the Stars. But Sean is also helping to give back to those less fortunate. She's teamed up with Feeding America to help kids out on their first day of school. She joins us today via Skype from her home in Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, Sean, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And we should add that you've, you are, of course, of course, joining us via Skype today because you are homesick. We're so grateful that you are taking some time out to speak with us. We hope you're feeling okay. I am. I'm feeling better. So good. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be good as new. Keep pumping that chicken soup. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sean, you're launching your Back to School charitable program. Tell us about the Lunch Note Promise campaign and why you decided to get involved. Um, the Lunch Note Promise campaign is trying to get parents to go online to lunchnotepromise.com and make a promise that they'll put a note in a This is just to kind of remind kids every day that their parents are there for them and um, encouraging them and kind of their support because for every promise they give, um, Lunchables will give a free lunch or a meal back to Feeding America. And we're trying to raise 100000 that sounds great. Sounds like a great goal. And I understand that you made an after-school visit to the kids at the 92nd Street Y. You surprised them with some gifts and a little back-to-school pep talk. How did that go? It was fun. It was so much fun. We got to do a bunch of activities. We we sang, we danced, we got to do hula hoop contests and just kind of have fun. We, we made lunch notes, of course. We gave away Lunchables. It was great. It was just a a fun time for everybody. And I understand that one of the key elements of this campaign is just providing kids with a little encouragement. You know, it, I, I'd imagine that you would say that you received a lot of that throughout your career. Is that right? Definitely. I mean, my parents are my biggest support um, system, and they've always been there for me. And I remember my mom used to put notes in my lunches, and it's just the little things that, that count. When you're, you know, at school and stuff, and you get that, you know your parents are still thinking about you, and they care about you. And um, I, of course, did that Absolutely. You're so right. It is the little things that count. Everyone can run low on fuel every now and again. And if you happen upon one of those little notes in your lunch box, all the better, right? Definitely. I want to ask you about something that's floating around the internet right now. There is a Sean Johnson and Matt Damon death hoax out right now out. Are you aware of this? It's crazy. Um, I've kind of caught a little wind of it, but not really. And mm -hmm. It's obviously not true because I'm right here. Right. <laughs> We're talking to you. We can prove it. Do you have any idea how something like this might have started? Um, not really. No. People, people like to, people like to talk. Yeah. And it's. I think it's kind. It's not funny, but it's. It's funny that people like will try to start stuff like that. But. Um, it is. Know, a, it is a little strange that people get kicks out of that. Anyway, yeah. in other news, Dancing with the Stars is just one week away. Are you just a little bit sad that you won't be back dancing this year? Um, I'm really sad. I mean, I would love to do it all over again if I could. I mean, I'd, I'd be there in a heartbeat, but I also, you know, I have to kind of step back and support my, my partner and everybody else, and I'll be there rooting them on and cheering from the front. And you were certainly great. You have any predictions on who might win this year? Oh, you can't tell yet. I had to see the first show and kind of try to play it out by then. So. That's half the fun is the guessing game. What was that experience yeah. like for you? I mean, obviously, you're a stellar athlete, but this was this is different from that, right? I mean, how, how did the, those two arenas differ for you? Um, It's so much different. I mean, with gymnastics, it's all about, you know, the power and the precision and, you know, I don't know. It's it's something I did my whole life. I was used to it. I had the comfort zone. But dancing, it's about the grace and dancing in heels and um, with a partner and stuff. And the stage is just totally different. It's it's a different crowd and um, it's hard to get used to. But it made me so proud when I finally had done it and I'd done it successfully. Well, rightfully so. You were fantastic. Now let's talk a little bit about gymnastics. I've read that you may be deciding on whether you're going to continue with your next Olympic bid. Where are you on that uh, question right now? Um, I'm pretty much in the same place I've been for the past year and a half. I, I have no idea. You know, it's it's a hard decision and it's a decision I don't really want to make unless I'm 100% positive. And right now it's just about finding what makes me happy. And Have you set a you deadline know? for yourself? Like, I've got to decide by this date? Um, I want to know by the end of the year just because I want to have enough time to train if I go back. 
But you know what? There's really no date to it. You just, I'll get in shape, I'll stay in shape, and I'll stay in the gym. But Sean, thank you so much waiting. for joining us today. We wish you all the best of luck, whatever you decide. Thank you. ABC News Now. Good to know.